came out in 1982 to 1987, 86. <clears throat> anyway, it is very complex. It's computerized music. So the bottom line, if you want to get into the guts of it, uh, where you are going to do things, make things, or whatever, uh, you're going to have to really learn computer programming, com computer hexadecimal code, and, and computer transmission, RS-232, uh, so which is not in college. You're going to do astronomy, use a telescope. You have to learn a lot of that. So but today, we'll just skip that and get into the other thing. What we're doing is, in the maker world, maker world, <clears throat> trying to get uh, our gen younger generations into high core uh, engineering so around the world, not just us, but here. They're having maker fairs all over the United States. And there's a big one in Austin that we're going to on April 21st, on May 21st. And the people we're tied into in Copper's Cove who are more into the electronics part of it and the um, uh, computer programming go there and have a booth and they kind of represent themselves and to some extent we're tied in. So last year we had to hack the microscope okay, for two aspects. This year what they just decided to do is the theme of it will be music mm -hmm. and most of it will be MIDI music. So what we're doing is hacking an accordion. So what that means is to take something apart and make it better or different to fit your needs. Okay, so accordion's been around for 100 years, let's say, and so and so. The bottom line is there's certain things today that accordion people want that they didn't want before, uh, and so and so. In my world, uh, I bought a Roland MIDI accordion. And it came out as a very nice accordion. So the first one I bought two of them to teach with. And then I sold those to an uh, accordion shop in, in Houston and bought this new one. Well, the bottom line is the new one is supposed to be a starter for kids. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> it's too heavy for any kids. Most adults don't even want to play it. And it's not a big keyboard, but it's just, it's got all that electronic guts in there for MIDI. Uh, and so on. So therefore, it's relatively heavy. The technology, for whatever reason, from a fine company, which we're going to talk about today, Roland Electronics, which is out of Japan, but all over the world, uh, are having the people in Italy uh, build it. And therefore, the electronics in Italy is probably somewhat different than Japan, because a lot of the things in it, in my opinion, don't come up to the standard all of the time that they're, they're making it. For example, and the little tiny monitor, LCD monitor, is using a few uh, matrix letters. If you remember matrix, these funny block letters they had in computers from 1980 or maybe 1985. That's all it's got. And when I buy a Roland, well, you'll see it today. When I buy a Roland device today, it's got text all over the place and graphics uh, and so on and so And on top of it, it only lasted uh, a year and a half. So now it, it's not working and there's nowhere around that I know other than maybe send it to California to get it fixed. So in that vein, what we're trying to find is another way to get MIDI music. And that's what we're doing with hacking the accordion. We'll take the accordion. Uh, and see if we can't make one a lot cheaper. In this case, it'd probably be about 10 times as cheap as the one I bought. The one I bought was around $2,000 with a case and so on. So it looks like we can probably make one of our own, or hack one of our own, whatever you want to call it, around two to $400. Everybody follow so far? Mm -hmm. But again, it's not a simple task. It involves the old world of cutting and doing various things and then involves a new world of computer programming and the MIDI formats and learning how to make things communicate uh, and so on. So anyway, and the start of it from my aspect, 
aspect, which is my part of the project, is to hack an old accordion. So this is an old accordion, made, again, lightweight for kids. It's lightweight. Or don't play. And in my world of accordion, uh, and Jack's now senior citizen world, we're playing what used to be called ethnic accordions. They're not the great big monsters, but they don't weigh 30, 40 pounds. They only weigh uh, 10, maybe 11, 12, or less. So this accordion has been hacked, obviously. This is gone, that's gone. This is a, the breastplate, or whatever you want to call it, and the, and the keyboard. So the question then is, how do you turn that into electric, electric accordion? or MIDI accordion. And I've had it done professionally on so some big accordions as many as 10 years ago. Uh, so we're trying to find an up-to-date way uh, of doing it. So I'll open these boxes here. These are all from Roland, which is the same company that made the, the uh, piano accordion. I have a question. That I bought. Wait just one second for $2,000 made in Italy, yeah, go ahead. Well, those are original Rolands. They still had to, like, use a bellows. Well. Are you getting away from okay. that? Okay, you didn't have to use the bellows, but accordionists want to use the bellows. Okay, like you, they're used to. Yeah. Well, so the bottom line is, if you make it, and this is where, like a guitar, if you buy a guitar, you've got an acoustic guitar. You put a pickup in it, now you've got electric guitar. Okay? So and the next step, if you wanted to make a guitar, you'd make a MIDI guitar. Okay? You're tracking, so the different levels of, of the electrifying the instrument. Okay? So what the Roland Company did to make it sell to accordions, and it's a, one of the biggest selling to the professional accordions, because they want electric music. They want to walk around the room. They want microphones and all kinds of things. They want the backup tracks or whatever to, to play. So what he did is take like a bladder. Most of us know bladders of animals or whatever. They make some kind of bladder in there, and then a pressure uh, sensor they put in. So when you press and so on, it feels like a regular accordion. Okay. Okay. So that one, yes, you can squeeze it and open it. And, and in accordion, your, your dynamics come from that. Okay. Electronics, it comes from electrical mm -hmm. method, which we're going to talk about. Okay. So when you take that accordion and play it in it, the minute you plug in the MIDI mode, you no longer have to squeeze it. So, so it's good for those who don't want to squeeze. So like me, who don't want to play the button part of it. So you just keep it hooked up jack, and you just play the right hand. And so in the MIDI mode now, mm -hmm. okay? So it kind of depends on who hacked the accordion and what they did to it. No, I see. Does that answer the question? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> for these new people, and for sure that, that market, a part of their market, is all of these people that play rock and roll music. You've heard all these weird sounds that they use and so on. And they're using these sounds now in Star Wars and all kinds of, of movies and so on. That what MIDI is, you make your own strange sound or whatever. So anyway, Roland came out with this here kit. Okay, this one I hacked, so you can see. Well, let me show you one that, that isn't hacked. Okay, here's the kit. Just turn it on, and you can see your LCD display, and it tells you all yeah. kind, kinds of stuff. You turn your dial, you turn, button your things, and you've got all kinds of things. But it's a regular keyboard. Okay. So this is called the Boutique Series. The keyboard is separate under a trade name, but you can buy it. This comes as a whole kit, the keyboard and the, the module. Okay. And you can buy different modules. This one here, I just showed it to Joe because we're talking about doing some stuff. This is a keyboard mm -hmm. and a module. Okay. 
this module is closer to our world of music in that you've got three lines here, right? So this line here, if I push the green, the blue, or the red, I've got this, these sounds. So here's string one, string two, organ one, organ two, organ three, hmm. electronic piano, just like the electronic like keyboard, the keyboard. Okay. You know, or any electronic piano. Now. Well, here we've got violin, flute, oboe, uh, brass, and so on. So this one comes closer to what the world of music that, that we're living in. So if I push here, let's say flute, and it's red, so I'll have to push the red one, okay, and then push flute, okay. Then, when I play it, I should get a flute sound, mm -hmm. okay, just like the electronic keyboard. So ba basically what it is, is a very sophisticated keyboard. The mm -hmm. keyboards are selling now for $150, this sells for around two to 300 so. And so anyway, what we're attempting to do then is to take this keyboard, This is the same way that all keyboards work. Okay. The keyboard that I've got there, your keyboard, whatever, this is the way they work. They have these kind of contacts. And this is all the electronic part. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, transmitter, if mm -hmm. you want to call it that. Then you've got a, what they call 16 pin, that the, whatever information this puts out. So anyway, you've got 25 keys, 25 keys. The problem is, each of these, as you can see, is two holes. Mm -hmm. so one is shorter than the other. So when you push it down, <clears throat> there's a difference between when this one is pushed and when that one is pushed, time-wise. Okay, now does that go on the back of this? Right. Where it pushes it down? On, underneath here. Oh, I so see. Go. Oh, okay. So those then will push, push on here. Okay. okay. Got it so far? I think so. So this is the same as I said of, of the keyboard that we're using or anybody who's got a keyboard. It's the same principle. It's been around for quite a while. And the complicating part of it is that in the MIDI packet, which we're skipping that part of the lecture now, you need a minimum of three cents, things sent. Data one, data two, and a status one. Okay. So the status and tells the system something, data one tells us something, data two tells us something. So the first thing it needs to know is what is a note, C or C plus, right? Or C4 or C5, whichever. So you gotta tell it, note, what note you want. Then you tell it, and again, it's a little catchy depending on the, what you're doing with it, what they call the velocity of it, and that's what this gives it. The velocity is the difference between here and there. So, in a non-weighted instrument, a piano is a weighted keyboard. So when you push on it, you get a sensitive touch. Yeah. Most accordions and organs and so on are not. They play mm -hmm. the gato style. So uh, the velocity is not near. When they say velocity, it's translated to some extent as volume. Okay. Mm -hmm. Based on the computer deciding how hard or how quick. You, you hit this, and this one went down there, okay? <clears throat> Any questions up to there? No. Okay, the complicating part from the standpoint of the computers is that in the old days, they would have a contact for each of these. So that means here you would have 25 wires coming out. Well, when you get to 88 keys, <laughs> that's a lot of wires and a lot of weight, okay? So what they do, in computers, instead of doing that, they build what they call a matrix. 
so on, in mathematics and the computer and so on, the matrix allows you to compress it. In other words, it'll, it'll go over all that looking for C4. When it finds C4, it'll send a signal. So on. And that happens at about 1 to 32 thousandths of a second. So in the MIDI world, you need a lot of speed on, on your computer or device. So if you're setting your devices, you have to make sure that you're going to set it very, very fast. Uh, a lot of things we do with the Arduino computer, for example, we set it at 9,500 foot baud. Anyway, and then the next step from there is so far all we've got is keyboard, right? So now we've got key, we've got the contact. The contact will go underneath here somehow. Just put it down. Okay. And then we've got to transmit here somehow to a MIDI device. Okay. So we can transmit uh, to MIDI devices. More than likely, this is the one I'm going to end up using. Okay. Then you just, it's just, well, it, it doesn't matter. Do these keys move? Are they supposed to move? Well, yeah. Wait, well, yeah, but not until we okay. put them in right. These okay. keys move. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then this is going to sit down in there. Yeah. And now I've got I've got all the electronics I need. So now I've got an electric accordion or MIDI accordion. Yeah. So on here I can come out. Okay. I'll put audio, regular audio to an audio sound box. Okay. Or a mixer, whatever. Here's my MIDI out, which we've talked about before, and this would go to a, a MIDI synthesizer, 